What? Oh. Oh, you're awake, thank goodness. We, we were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and we would have been freaking out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a little baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! Now, now. The important part of is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why don't you take, drink some tea? It will make you feel better. Uh, how about we give him some space first? He must be very exhausted. Though, from what, I'm not certain. Frisk? We do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went right white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will return to the surface. Seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you. Well, I wanted to show something off at this point, and I'm going to literally cut to it, because it's going to be a long process for me, and I'm not even sure if it will work. I'm... I'm 90... 91% thinking it might not work, but we can try it anyway. So, I will um, see you guys in a bit. First time we saw Flowey. Oh my god, he is here. Okay, so this is... This is... I haven't seen this before. This is actually what I don't want to show you guys. So... 
Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break all their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey. Let me ask you a question, Frisk. Why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Traveler who climbs into Mount Tibet are said to disappear. Frisk. Why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Or it was fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? I know why ants climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Ants hated humanity. Why they did it, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from ants. In fact, though you have similar um, fashion choices, you don't know why, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Oh, forgive me. Maybe the truth is Ants wasn't a great person, the greatest person. Whilst Frisk, you were the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest. I did some weird stuff as a flower. There was one time, one last thing I felt like I should tell you. Frisk, when Ants and I combined our souls together, the control of our body was actually split between us. There were, there, they were the one that picked up their own empty body, and then when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we, well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk. This whole time, I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret any of that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have waged war against all of humanity. And it, in the end, everyone's free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision, but you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. Besides, that's not the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go and be with your friends, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you um, see me, don't think of me as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful of the world outside, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is in here. There are a lot of flowers out there, and not everything can be resolved just by being nice. Frisk, don't kill and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? Yeah, he's just gonna repeat his lines now. Oh, uh, a 
Let's see you, Asriel. Once we leave the rooms, guys, I'm going to stop recording and get us back to the main place. Then start recording again. Means that I can get some free time for some tears. <laughs> Such an emotional journey. I mean, if you really think about it, it's, it's truly motivational in a way. Like... It's an awful scenario to be in, no matter what. Both humans and monsters in this case just want something good. Well, at least Frisk does. But it, it all sort of blurs and becomes an issue because... Not really because of one thing. So... How do I explain? The cause and effect of one thing, one event happening between them, ends up making even more decisions that are worse. But with a little bit of hope, you can do one action that will set up a really good path for everything you ever do. And it... If you keep going with that, if you keep striving to be your best or doing basically everything you can, then you're doing right because you're doing your best. And that's, if that's all you can do, that's all you need to do. You don't need to slave away at it, but, you know, you do your best and... Anyway, I'll, I'll, get, I'll give my final thoughts when we get out and at the other place soon. Um, I guess once I cut through the door of the ruins, I'll say I'll see you guys in literally a second. So see you then.